welcome to ESL's Go4 SC2 number 46 final sponsored by Steel Series. I'm your caster Kessel and today we're going to have a game between Naiden who's going to be spawning as the green Protoss at the bottom and he's going to be playing against Goody who's going to be spawning at the top as the purple Terran and this is going to be on Zelnaga Caverns. It's not Zelnaga Watchtowers which I was completely mistaken last time. And it, it, I completely apologize for that. And this is going to be game one between Night In and Goody. And this is also patch 1.1.1, so you won't see any of the bar or the barracks that don't need the supply depot. But Goody's getting that supply depot anyway. And you also won't be seeing void rays that won't be go able to go as fast with the speed, but they'll do more damage early on but less damage later, if that makes any sense. What I mean is that the Void Rays, and when they're charged up, they'll do considerably less damage than they used to, and Goody just getting his barracks up right now, and Naiden also getting his probe inside Goody's base and starting to attack that SCV, but a second SCV is going to be pulled off the mineral line to try and deal with this probe. Meanwhile, that probe is trying to survive, and the refinery is going up for Goody, and Naiden is going to be able to spot this and goody building his barracks as well trying to finish the wall off over here and night in is going to be able to get his probe out of there meanwhile a refinery going up for night in and it looks like night in instead of getting his probe out keeping his probe alive inside his base and goody is forced to pull another scv out and it looks like goody is using this one to scout out Good night end over here, and night end is getting that gateway up, and an orbital command going up for Goody right now. And it looks like the probe and the SCV are going to fight it out over at the Zelnaga Watchtower, but the probe is going to run away and start recharging its shield. Meanwhile, a cybernetic score going up. This is a preemptive to the gas that he saw because he knows that that with that gas there's always a possibility of reapers and he needs that cybernetic score as fast as possible to get that stalker and he's also getting that second gas as well meanwhile that tech lab is going up for goody so i'm not sure it looks like goody is going marauders instead so this is going to be a bit of a met uh, a confusion over here and goody is building a proxy barracks over here at the bottom right behind the grass so and Naiden is going to be able to see this, and this is going to be very interesting if this game it might end relatively early if he can get those barracks units out as fast as possible. And he's going to be pumping out in reinforcements really fast now and get them into Naiden's base. It looks like this is going to be an early push, and it looks like the replay watcher also saw this and pinged it out for the people who are watching. Meanwhile, Naiden slightly supply blocked and getting his sentry. So this Night End might be able to hold on if he can get that sentry out fast enough. And it looks like another gateway going up. And no tech units. And he's getting another two gateways instead. Meanwhile, the Goody has moved out his Marauder and Marines. And he's got two SCVs here as well. And Goody is producing Marauders outside out of the both of these barracks. But it looks like he won't be able to push in yet because that sentry has just enough for guardian shield and it's going to be able to block off any kind of attack that goes on early on. Meanwhile, Night End Stalker is out and he's getting another sentry and he's just trying to warp out, warp them out, or get warp gate as fast as possible. And like Night End is starting to move out, but a bad micro right there, getting his uh, actually losing his. Sentry over here he might lose his second sentry if he doesn't. And it looks like Goody is getting that four, or bunker up with his SCV. And those Marauders are going to be able to get taken out by the combined force of the probe and Stalker and Sentry. But it looks like reinforcements are just getting pumped out really fast. The Dynan now has his warp gate technology. So he has four Stalkers on the field. And he's not going to be able to stop this Marauder attack. But those Marauders are going to get into that bunker. And those probes are going to get completely annihilated. But that SCV is trying to heal that bunker as fast as possible. And it looks like Goody's getting down a getting down a mule to try and help heal. And Goody just continuing to grasp the mule. SCV. More stalkers getting pumped out. And now 
Goody is going to have to move back or else he's going to lose. But Goody really made a good exchange with that. He managed to take out a lot of probes. He managed to take out a lot of units in general. And Night Inn is a little bit hurting right now. And meanwhile, Goody is continuing to build Marines. And he's getting Reapers now out of his barracks and he's getting out of the barracks in the corner at the bottom right he's also getting a couple marines and getting a bunker over here as well as a factory and a second refinery and it looks like those stalkers are going to spot this barracks right now and that SCP is going to die will that reaper be able to come out and it looks like Goody is getting his reaper to go in another direction and if he if Goody doesn't spot this soon, he's going to probably get a little bit of Reaper harass going on here. The Reaper just pumping out, and now Night End is going to be forced to react to this. But Night End does have a couple sentries up here, so he's going to be able to do some damage to this Reaper before it gets anywhere close to the pro line, and that Reaper dies. Meanwhile, Night End just continuing with his attack and finishing off this barracks over here. And Goody going on the defensive, getting a starport getting another command center to expand and he's getting a tech lab on top of that factory so we're probably going to see some sea shakes going on over here he isn't building he is getting a couple more marauders and he just killed a scouting probe over here that came from night End. and it looks like night End, on the other hand just continuing to build lots of gateway units he isn't getting anything else he's getting a lot of probes he did lose a lot from that attack so he is trying to catch up it caught him economy wise it looks like a couple hellions getting pumped out and it looks like the starport is going down on top of the tech lab so we're going to probably see some banshees going on or a raven instead and it looks and it, goody putting down that factory on top of that tech lab so we're going to see more siege tanks and that command center is done and he is getting an orbital command out of that to get that energy and more marines getting pumped out Let's see, no siege tech being researched and no cloak being researched and no energy for the ravens and an engineering bay going up now. Twilight and getting his own expansion and he is getting a couple zealots and he is getting a robotics facility so neither player is going, is, I don't know, neither player is really in the lead right now and Goody just continues to pump out SCVs to get his economy up and he has a ton of SCVs. He's got a lot of mules, and now he is researching his siege tech, and he does have that raven out. More marines being built, and Night End getting a couple of his probes to saturate the natural over here. Meanwhile, the command center has not moved from here yet. He's opting to build up as many SCVs as possible inside the base before we zoom out. It looks like that bunker has been salvaged. A couple missile turrets going up, and it looks like more siege tanks being built, and a bunker, and more missile turrets being built in front of the natural so you can defend this. But Naiden has no uh, interest in attacking Goody yet. He is getting an observer out of his robotics facility. He is continuing to build a lot of units and trying to get this natural saturated so he can keep up economy wise. Goody getting a couple of his SCVs out and getting it saturated with more SCVs from his already overly saturated command centers over here he does have siege mode right now he is getting a couple siege tanks as well as another factory and that observer is going to be pushed away by that raven marine combo pre-igniter also being researched and he is getting a couple hellions but i'm not sure this is going to be good because the robotics facility units are going to be amazing against whatever the factory is going to pump out and it looks like immortals are coming out of the robotics facility and it looks like a robot, robotics bay also being researched as well. So he is going to probably go Colossi. A couple stalkers over here at the pylons over here. And a couple pylons over here to spot the grass area. Meanwhile, Goody has just a lot of missile turrets. And he is just macroing up, getting very defensive here. Because he doesn't know exactly what's going on inside Naiden's base. He doesn't know if there are more base coming or a large ground army coming. But right now, he does have several sea tanks. He does have missile turrets. So he's going to be in a very good position right now. Meanwhile, Night End is just continuing to macro up, getting a lot of units, a lot of probes to replace all the ones that were destroyed in his earlier attack. And he's getting a couple uh, immortals. 
And if I suggest to get more robotics facilities, get more unit production. He has a lot of minerals right now. He, he doesn't need to save them up right now. If you can get him push in right now, he can probably destroy most of these forces. But now Goody is getting another siege tank, and he has a couple Hellions that are on the move right now. And it looks like another scouting probe gets destroyed. So defensively, Goody is in a good position. But if he, if the the Colossi comes out for Nidan, then and he's also getting the thermal lances for the Colossi, and he's getting that. Chrono boosted out as soon as possible. If he can make a good push right now, then Naiden could be in very good position. And the Hellions are trying to get in here, and they get completely blocked off, and they are completely annihilated. A scan goes down, but he doesn't see anything of use. He does see the Immortal over here, but that's all he sees. He does not see that Naiden does have a robotic support bay, and he does. Naiden did get a Colossi, and he's continuing to build Colossi. And he did get a Twilight Council Why I wasn't watching in the corner. He is getting zealot legs. It looks like two Stargates are getting warped out right now. And Goody just building a lot of Hellions and a lot of Siege Tanks. And he is getting a couple Banshees as well. Naiden is going to be spotting this large army moving out with his Observer. And those Marines are going to probably be able to take out that Observer. And Goody now... Pushing out, getting a couple missile turrets over here, getting a lot of units over here, and he is going to start moving out. Twilight, or Nighten, meanwhile, does have a couple Colossi on the ledge over here, so he might be able to do some massive damage to the siege tanks if they can get in good position. And it looks like Goody is just turtling up, trying to get his forces up here, and if Col the Colossi just gets onto this ledge over here, you can just start shooting over here. And there's a PDT actually going down from the Raven. And it looks like the Colossi is starting to move out. And oh, now the battle is beginning. The Guardian Shield is going up. And there are a couple Stalkers over here on the other side. The Pylons are getting hit. And there are a couple Phoenix that come out. And they are scouting this area. And they're going to lose a couple of these Phoenixes. And if the Phoenix is just grabbing from being a couple CC, it might be a huge advantage. Those are just firing away at those Colossi. And it looks like Naiden just could not push in. Goody has a lot of sea tanks, and those sea tanks are just going to continue to move in. More, or more Phoenix is getting built, which I don't agree with. They can't really do much against uh, these sea tanks. These sea tanks are just moving up, slowly turtling up. And more sea tanks are being built. A banshee actually finished it, and it looks like that throw is going to die, and a lot of pylons are going to go down to this attack. A lot of probes getting shelled away by these sea tanks. Goody just doesn't have the answer to this right now. And I think this is going to be GG at the moment. Because Goody just does not have enough units to deal with these sea tanks. And Colossi just can't seem to get the uh, sea tanks and died in GGs. So, uh, whoops, I restarted the whole game. And it looks like Goody is going to take game one. Uh, for against Naiden and I just like with this huge siege tank force just being able to push in turtling up getting missile turrets as well and just being able to keep Naiden completely contained getting just so many siege tanks oh man and Naiden just couldn't do anything with those colossi if he had those colossi on the ledge he could probably soften up those units before they got in and if he had a couple more mortals from more robotics facilities, then I think Naiden would have come out on top. But in the end, Naiden just couldn't keep up. And game one does go to Goody. So I'll thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And please subscribe to youtube.com slash Kessel Gamer. That's K-E-S-L Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Kessel signing out.